Hey church, my name is Kelsey Ross and I'm the director of Youth Ministries at Wesley. And I'm here tonight on top of this beautiful bluff at Pier Marquette State Park to bring you your nightly devotion. So as you may know, we're in the middle of a devotion series called God in One Word, where people from our church offer up their thoughts in just one word of how we would describe God. Well, my word that I chose was big. And what better place to share with you just how big I believe our God is than right here with this beautiful view over the Mississippi River, as you can see behind me, all the fall colors and the, the trees changing colors, it's just breathtaking and it reminds me just how big our God really is. You know, I came up here this morning for an early morning hike and I was surprised that there were a few people on the trail. It's a, it's a pretty nice day. It's not quite as cold as, it, as it's been. And um, I met a couple of people at some various stops. And don't worry, I had my mask on. We were we were socially distanced, so it's all good. But I noticed there was this one particular individual who was really struggling getting up a really steep incline, which might happen to any of us um, hiking up a big hill like that. But but I did hear the person that she was with ask her, "Are you okay?" Which you know seems like a pretty appropriate question given the circumstances. But you know it really got me thinking. In this season of great unrest in our country. And I'm talking not just about the national pandemic that we are knee deep in, but also the political discord that's going on at every corner. I started thinking about all the times since all this started that someone has asked me that same question. Are you okay? And you know, I am just one person among all the millions of people in our country who are so desperately upset and scared or broken in the midst of all that's going on. But thinking about that question, are you okay? I've thought about my answer the last few months since all of this started. And it's usually something like, yeah, I'm fine, or I'll be fine, I'm, I'm okay. I might shrug it off, I might go on with the conversation, but you know, the truth, church, is, is that I'm not okay. And I haven't been since all this started. I'm really struggling. I'm struggling with a world that I've never seen before. And I'm struggling with anxiety and fear that often feels like too much to handle. And I'm struggling with a sinking exasperation with what I see when I look outside, with people fighting and spewing hate at each other and harsh words and unkind actions leading the charge for change. It just feels really big to me. It feels like a big weight on my chest that I just can't let go of. And you know, I'm guessing tonight, church, that some of you might feel the same way. And how many times since all of this started has Somebody looked at you and asked that same question and said, are you okay? And how many times since you've been asked that question have you said, yeah, I'm fine, or I'll be fine, but somewhere deep down, you just, you weren't really sure if you truly believed that. That's what happens when the world starts to make you feel small. That's what happens when we as Christians feel like we're losing control of these things that we believe so fiercely in. Like we're holding on so tight and it's all getting ready just to slip away. So if you're feeling that way in this season, I'm going to tell you one more time. You aren't alone. Life is so hard right now for so many people, and it's okay to not be okay right now. But please, tonight, church, hear this. We know a God that is so much greater than all the smallness that we feel in the world today. We know a God who is greater than the coronavirus. We know a God who is greater than systematic racism and the oppression of his chosen people. We know a God greater than polarized election seasons and emotionally charged conversations about what we believe is safe and best in these times. Church, we know a God who is so big. He created the heaven and the earth, everything you see behind me. And he's holding the whole world in his hands. Which is the really good news that God holds our world and our hurting hearts and our not okayness in his hands so that we don't have to. So wherever you are today and whatever you are really feeling in these crazy times, I hope you know that it matters. I hope you know that your sometimes silent cries of lament are heard. They are seen and they are known and they don't make you small. But they make you the strong, beloved children of God that are being held in God's steady hands. We are in this together, church. We see you and we love you. And we're not gonna give up on you, no matter what. So will you pray with me? Oh God, we thank you that from mountaintops to deep valleys, you are holding us close. 
Thank you for your bigness. Amen.